If your license is expiring and you need a new one, do this makeup look. If you need to travel and you need a passport, do this look. If you're going to slash your ex-boyfriend's tires for cheating on you, do this look because you might need a bomb mugshot. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm Miriam J. So I recently retook my mugshot, I mean my driver's license picture. What I tell you out of all of the licenses that I've had, this one is my favorite. Like, just look how fleek I am. Like, do you guys see how fleek I look? The only thing I would change about this photo is like the color of my lips. Like I probably would have like went for something more blushy nude. Other than that, I feel like I slayed my makeup. I feel like I gave what I said I was supposed to give. I decided to recreate this look and pretty much show you guys the makeup techniques that I use to achieve a driver's license photo like that. So let's get right into the video. First, I'm going to prime my face. Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector primer and I really just try to focus this in my t-zone so now I'm gonna do my eyebrows and you guys know I use the LA girl brow pomade I use the color soft black I just feel like black brows look good on me I know a lot of people can't pull off black brows but I don't know I feel like I look good in black brows and if you think otherwise then it's just not valid because I know I look good with black brows. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this. If you guys are interested in an updated brow tutorial, shoot me a comment down below. So I do have my brows micro shaded, but sometimes it just doesn't give what they said it was supposed to give, you know? So I feel like I have to fill them in sometimes. So now I'm gonna go in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Amarese palette. And I'm gonna go into the black shade and just do the outside of my brows. Just the outside. I feel like when it comes to your driver's license picture, ID photo, passport, whatever, attention to detail doesn't really matter because the camera is not going to pick up details now unless you got a big ass pimple then you should probably reschedule your photo <laughs> but i feel like with a photo like that it's pretty much the overall picture so i was thinking when i was doing my makeup for my driver's license photo i was like okay we have to like exaggerate it a bit because again this is looking at the overall picture it's not paying attention to detail i'm just cleaning up under my brows with Tart shape tape in tan sand. Now I'm gonna go on with my foundation. I'm currently using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the color Cinnamon. If you guys hear a leaf blower in the background, I'm so sorry. The disrespect is so real. Like they should have known I was gonna record today. I don't know why they decided to blow leaves today. Like, what the f I'm going in with the leftover foundation I have on the back of my hands. I'm just going over my um, acne scars because your girl don't have perfect skin and I'm learning to accept that maybe when I'm in my 30s I can have nice skin finally but Lord knows the first quarter of my life was just filled with pimples so again when you're taking your driver's license photo passport photo ID photo mugshot the camera doesn't pay attention to detail, it just looks at the whole picture. So, with that being said, I'm gonna cake my face. So right now, I'm just applying my foundation all over my face. I like using my finger to apply majority of my foundation because I feel like my sponge just absorbs everything. Ever since I've been doing it like this, I buy foundation less than I used to. And my foundation is like $50, so... And I wear makeup like almost every day. So I'm gonna go in with this sponge. This is my favorite sponge to apply foundation with. This sponge is by e.l.f. Um, and I think it's by their like, I think it's camouflage line or whatever. Let me just tell you something. If they discontinue this sponge, I'm probably gonna cry. I'm not even gonna lie. Now I'm gonna go into my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And we're going to conceal under the eyes. Okay, so I do have a tiny little crease right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and conceal that one more time 
on a daily basis I usually don't conceal this twice but for this photo you want to conceal twice you want it to be as bright as possible well not as possible but as bright as it can be to not look crazy I'm setting my forehead my under eyes my chin and under my nose with this Rimmel London stay matte powder and then I'm gonna go over that with this studio fix powder and then I'm gonna go over that with this Laura Mercier setting powder in translucent honey I'm gonna bake a little bit I'm not setting my nose just yet because I want to highlight the bridge while it's still wet just so the highlighter can stick to it nicely I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyelids but I'm not setting right under my brow bone because I want to highlight that as well while it's wet so the Rimmel powder that I was using, it, it's in the color Sandstorm, MAC Studio Fix in C6. Now I'm gonna contour, this is another thing. With your driver's license photo, contour the out of your face. Because like I said, it does not pay attention to detail, just the overall picture. So you wanna try to look as chiseled as possible. Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation in 440 literally gonna contour the freak out of my nose so now I'm just gonna contour my cheeks I'm not really gonna blow out this contour I'm gonna keep it super sharp just for the picture not for everyday bases I'm gonna go in with a um, blending brush like an eyeshadow blending brush and I'm gonna do my forehead because I have a lace on and I don't, I'm not trying to get no powder on it. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this Beauty Bakery brownie bar and this is the darkest one, I think. And I'm gonna hit the tip of my nose with it just to lift the tip a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with that other contour brush just to sharpen this contour a tiny, tiny bit. I'm gonna go in with like a face brush and I'm gonna go in with this Fenty Pro Filter um, in 390. It's pretty much the same powder I use as my contour, but this is just a different shade. And I'm gonna set the rest of my face and I'm gonna kind of use this to like blend my face as well. So now I'm gonna go in with this all nighter setting spray and I'm gonna set my face. I think I sprayed directly in my eyes. <laughs> That's why my eyes are closed right now. <laughs> Cause I'm like, oh my gosh, if I open it, it's gonna burn. Oh my God. Ciao. Thought I was about to lose my eyes. <laughs> so when you set your face, try not to make too many like facial expressions and stuff like that, um, or you will cause some creasing. I'm gonna go in with this pencil brush right here, but more so like a detailed brush. I don't know, child, it's some kind of brush. I'm gonna go in with my Carly Bible palette. This is like the deluxe palette um, from BH Cosmetics. It's discontinued, so you literally cannot find it anywhere. And I'm so sad about it because there's this one eyeshadow shade that I freaking love in this palette, and I literally can't find it anywhere. But I'm gonna go ahead and use that golden highlighting shade to highlight my nose. Now I'm gonna use this brush right here and I'm gonna go into that same highlighting shade and highlight my cheekbones. Now I'm gonna use that same shade and highlight my brow bone. I know all of this looks very exaggerated, but I'm telling you guys, this is literally how I did my makeup. Um, I kept the eyes like super simple. The wow effect was really more so like my lashes, but I, I used this Amrisi palette and I went into the color OG and I just hit that in my crease and I brought that out towards my hairline. No lie, I did want to do a wing liner. I ended up not having time for that. Um, so that ended up not happening. Now I'm gonna go in with some mascara. 
I don't get how I have long bottom lashes, but short top lashes. I don't get that sometimes. Oh, I got mascara on my nose. <sighs> okay, the trick to that is to just let it dry and figure it out later. Okay, so the lashes I did use. These I Envy lashes in 104. Now, these were the lashes that I did use. However, these lashes, you, I swear, you can only find them in the beauty supply store. Like, I've looked online and I freaking cannot find them. Now, the lashes I'm going to try out today are one size lashes. And they're called I've Arrived. I've Arrived, honey. I swear, like, when you go to Sephora, you don't really find lashes like these. Like, I've never seen lashes like these in a Sephora. Sephora be selling them baby ass lashes. Like I gotta go to the beauty supply store to find lashes like these. You know, these are like super dramatic lashes, super long lashes. Mm -mm. You either gotta go online or you gotta go to the beauty supply store. And by beauty supply store, I'm not talking about Sally's. That's not a beauty supply store, at least for me. But they are obviously too long, so I'm gonna cut them. Okay, I'm gonna teach y'all something real quick. So look at these lashes. You see the ends, how they have like an extra like piece of strip, if that makes sense. Some people be putting on their lashes and they be leaving the strip. Don't do that. That like, if you do that, if you ever feel like the in inner corner of your eye, when you have lashes on, it's like poking. That's why you got to cut that off. And when you cut it off, you got to cut it in an angle towards the lash. That way you kind of get rid of that sharp edge, you know? Oh, these are huge. Uh, Hold on, wait a minute. Okay, hold on, wait. Oh no, I gotta cut off like a whole section. I don't think, I just don't think. I don't think. Hold on, let me do my lips and see what happens, hold on. So I'm using Urban Cafe NYX lip liner. And yes, I did get my lips done. Check out my last video. It's Maybelline Lipstick and Clay Crush. So this is what I initially did and I just put a regular, regular, regular gloss over it. What I wanted to do <laughs> was lighten it up a little. So now I'm gonna go in with this Sephora lip gloss in the color 74 gonna do that right in the center now I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair real quick and I'll be right back okay so this is the final look she's giving like super glam she's giving like bad bitch she's giving insta baddie she's giving she's just giving what they said she was supposed to give but I am in love with this look I'm still a little iffy about the lashes no lie might change them at some point today <laughs> But as far as the foundation, the contour, and the highlighting, this is the makeup look that I did to achieve this gorgeous driver's license photo. I just feel like it is perfect for any ID photo, passport photo, mug shot, whatever. If your license is expiring and you need a new one, do this makeup look. If you need to travel to Dubai and you need a passport, do this look. If you're going to slash your ex-boyfriend's tires for cheating on you, do this look because you might get arrested and you might need a bomb mugshot. You just can't be caught slipping, you know what I mean? Don't forget to like and comment on this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Don't forget to hit those post notifications so you are notified every time I upload. Also hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on TikTok. Like if you end up doing this look, like I wanna see. But thanks for watching. I